Hello there students. Thank you for being part of this presentation today. My name is Luis Silva and today we are going to be looking at economics and specifically the law of demand. What is the law of demand? The law of demand states that as the price of a good increases, the quantity of that good demanded decreases. Likewise, as the price of a good decreases, the quantity of that good demanded increases. And uh, I have this example here for you, this visual, this uh, image here that basically explains what I just read to you. If you see here to the left hand side of the image, the law of demand, when the prices go up, the quantity demanded goes down. And uh, you notice the relationship between price and quantity is inverse. When the prices go down, the quantity demanded actually goes up. What is demand? Demand is the desire, the ability, and willingness to buy a product. Remember that you may have the desire, but you may not have the ability. If you do not have the ability, it is not demand. And as a side note, demand is a microeconomics concept. Microeconomics is the area of economics that deals with behaviors and decisions made by small units such as individuals and firms. What is a demand schedule? A demand schedule is a listing that shows the various quantities demanded of a particular product at all prices that might prevail in a market. And to the right you have a demand basically schedule here. To the left hand side you have a whole bunch of prices. If you can see there there is a relationship between the price and the quantity demanded. At $50, there's basically zero demand for cookies. At $20, there is five in terms of demand for cookies. At $15, there's 10. At $10, there's 27. And at $5 per cookie, there the demand is 47. So a demand schedule shows you the price and quantity of different goods and how they are actually sold. What is a demand curve? A demand curve is a graph showing the quantity demanded at each and every price that might prevail in a market. And what you have here is the demand curve. If you see, it basically tells you how products are being sold at different prices. For example, if you see on the price side and you see the $90 there and now you scroll down or go down uh, straight down on the quantity demanded basically there is zero demanded but if you see again on the price side if you see scroll or go down all the way to the ten dollars then you have about 800 items being sold so this is a, a demand curve by the way the demand curve does not necessarily look straight like this one here but it tends to uh, move around. It can actually move to the right and it can move to the left depending on the different scenarios of demand. Again, this is a demand curve here. You see how there is a relationship between the quantity sold and the price of the, the item. Market demand curve. A market demand curve shows the quantity demanded by everyone who is interested in purchasing the product. So it's basically everything that we've been talking about, but now you're adding everybody in the market who is purchasing a particular item. When there is a change in people's willingness and ability to buy, it typically falls in one of two categories. Number one, quantity demanded or change in demand. Now, change in quantity demanded. A change in quantity demanded is a movement along the demand curve that shows a change in the quantity of the product purchased in response to a price change. If you see from the image here, uh, this is changes in quantity demanded. You go from point A to point B. If you can see also a tax on a seller of ice cream cone raises the prices of ice cream. And in result, there's a movement along the demand curve. For example, when the ice cream was at $1, you had eight ice creams being sold, which is point A. Once there was a tax increase, 
So the price of the ice cream went to two dollars. The demand actually decreased. If you see point B now, you're not no longer selling eight ice cream cones, but you're actually selling only four. Income effect and substitution effect. The income effect is a change in quantity demanded, a movement on the line, on the demand curve, because a change in a price alters consumers' real income. Now, the substitution effect is the change in quantity demanded because of a change in the relative price of an item. And here we have uh, what we're talking about, for example, on the prices of beef, because the prices of beef actually went up. So people said, well, you know, we're going to hold off on that price of beef or on the beef. And now we're going to move actually and purchase chicken. At $1, the quantity demanded for chicken is 125 pounds, an increase of 25 pounds because it used to be, if you look at the graph, it used to be 100. Notice we did not move along the demand curve for chicken, but to a point to the right. So in this case, the demand curve moved to the right, which is D1 right here. Change in demand. A change in demand occurs because people are now willing to buy different amounts of the product at the same price. A change in demand will result in an entirely new demand curve. For example, if there's a decrease in demand, the demand line or demand curve will move to the left. If there is a, an increase in demand, the demand curve will move to the right. So you have the original line on the graph that you're seeing here, which is D1. And uh, guess what? Now there is an increase in demand. The ice cream man or the ice cream store is selling a whole bunch of ice creams. It moved to the right, D2. If, for example, the taxes went up on the ice cream man and therefore he sold his ice cream very, uh, very expensive now or at a higher price, the demand decreases. That demand curve moves to the left. If you see D3 right there, what changes demand? There's a couple of things that changes demand. First is consumer income. Are you making more money? Did you lose your job? Second, consumer taste. Well, maybe you no longer like Toyota cars. Now you like uh, Hyundai or now you like a BMW. So change in consumer taste basically brings changes to demand. Substitute. If you have beef that the prices went, went up, well, now you have to obviously change change it for something else. In this case, you will substitute maybe beef for chicken. Complements. Now, this is uh, also another factor that brings a change in demand. Change in expectations and changes in the number of consumers. For example, in a city, if you get a lot of people, new people coming in, that will change the demand of a particular product. This presentation is basically over. Thank you for being part of it and uh, do not forget to subscribe and I will talk to you soon.